Ciao and welcome back to my video blog series for, for True Fire guitar. Uh, today we will learn how to play Angeline the Baker. This is a very nice fiddle tune. I like it a lot. Very, very simple in the melody, but uh, there is some magic uh, with this melody that I really like. And I arranged this fiddle tune in dead guard tuning. So, uh, so we are going to talk a little bit about open tunings uh, and the flat pick. This is not very, very much uh, popular uh, uh, using the, the flat pick, uh, flat picking and open tunings. Uh, but this is a subject I like a lot and I've been experimenting over the years a lot with open tunings. Anyway, that guy is, is a very, very common open tuning. Uh, if you've been playing fingerstyle, uh, you know it, I think. And so we have the last string, the E string is tuned down to D, and also the first string is down to D, and the second string, instead of B, we tune it down to A. So we have D A D G A D, that guy. And um, if we just put one finger here on the second fret, third string, this is a nice D chord. So let me play Angeline the Baker slowly. kind of a simple arrangement uh, and I mean it's simple for the right hand and uh, just be careful about uh, a few details one something very important is whenever you play a strum make sure that the melody note in that strum stands out in this case the melody the very very first strum I mean is the B open B string so you want to make a strum starting softly and making the B the, the, the B string actually that's an A note anyway so make it loud okay so very simple a couple of strums here and then again we go to a G G chord there melody is here so make sure that that note is louder than the rest and back to the D chord pay attention to the down ups there you see very very simple and then you repeat the whole part and then the B part you go up to the seventh fret here we are using the pinky and the ring finger, they are both at the 7th fret, that's another nice D chord, then we go with the index and we slide back to, to the 2nd fret, and then we just and that's a nice G sounding, it's a G chord with very nice sound and back to D and 
the last uh, couple of measures are just like the A part, just a copy and paste. So it's very very simple, and I hope this is a nice introduction to the to the dead guard tuning for you. And again, if you want to play the backups, you have diagrams in the tab. So this is your D fingering, and this is your G fingering. Very very simple, and this is an A, an a chord fingering. something like this when you're playing backup and uh, so I hope um, you like this brief introduction to that guard and flat picking and I see you soon uh, ciao from from Italy and uh, I see you next time ciao ciao